Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sara. I post videos about motherhood, cleaning, pregnancy, all that good stuff. Today I'm taking you guys through a clean and organize with me. It's my nesting video because nesting has become very, very real, especially now that I'm 34 weeks pregnant. I basically clean all day, every day. And I thought I'd take you guys through what I've been doing. I started recording this video yesterday, but it was very dark. So I'll show you guys a couple clips of what I was doing just so you can kind of catch up on what I started. The state of my storage locker is a disaster. So I'm gonna start cleaning all of this and then um, bringing some things down and then taking some things up. All right, so that turned out to be a much bigger task. I organized what I could in here. It's looking a lot better than it did before anyways. At least now we know where everything is. And then this is all donation. I have just a small pile here that I'm gonna take upstairs. All right, so I finished up with storage and now I brought the things upstairs so then I can start organizing and cleaning. What you probably just saw was me cleaning up the car seat. I took everything out of it. I vacuumed it, I wiped it down. I used a... Uh, this method cleaner to wipe it all down i'm going to do the same thing now this area here which is chaos this area is the change table so it's just below our change table i'm not really sure what i want to do with this space because i have to make space for the newborn but then i also still have some immense things so if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below because i'm trying to figure out how to organize this as best as i can so you see, I put three bins here, which need to re be reorganized again. This is the problem spot, another problem spot. And then diapers and stuff, I gotta organize that. So what I had done originally last night was I reorganized these bins here. This is Sunday men's clothing. I think I'm going to be moving this to another closet, but as of right now, I'll just keep it here until the baby arrives. I have the newborn stuff down here, so a bin of newborn clothing in there. More things for the baby over here. So we have swaddles, receiving blankets, uh, towels, socks. Uh, these are hats over here. And then I have my son's socks over here, my toddler's son. And then bedding and extra blankets and extra linen, uh, extra change mats for the table. I have a scale here, which you probably saw me organize. This is for the baby. I didn't get to do this last time with my son's today, men. So I'd like to do it this time with this baby. And I feel bad. Maybe I'll do them both together. Like I'll have a uh, brother hands like maybe the baby's hand and then sweet man's hand so i think that would be cute so maybe i'll do that and then i have diapers down here and i put wipes as well all this stuff over here is for the hospital so well most of it anyways this is the carrier i like to use with my babies this is the infantino baby carrier it's really affordable actually but um, i'm not going to use that right when he's a newborn i this time i ordered a wrap I got this one off of Amazon, but I'm gonna try baby wearing this time. I really wanted to do this last time, but with exclusive pumping, I couldn't do it. And then these are stroller attachments for my stroller so the car seat can fit. And then bottles over here because I am thinking I'm gonna combination feed even if I do breastfeed, I'm probably also gonna supplement. And then I have this, which is a cover. So when I wear the wrap, I can cover the baby and they can be warm because it is really cold in Montreal. This is one of those uh, cuddle covers that my mom got for him, which I thought was super sweet. My hospital bag, which I showed you. This is my baby bag, and I'm gonna show you guys this in my next update. And then over here is uh, the things that I've washed and the bouncer, which I'm gonna assemble right now. 
This is the Jonathan Adler by Fisher Price Bouncer. I love this bouncer with my first Sunday men. I only use it as a bouncer. It's not a place for sleep, but it really helps when you need to do something and you just want the baby to feel comfortable and relaxed as you do that. I ended up buying a Dyson on Black Friday and you're likely going to see it a lot in this video. I also got this mop off of Walmart online and I love it. It is so much better than this old Swiffer that I had and it doesn't require batteries plus the microfiber cloth is reusable. I started to take apart baby gear to wash. This is the play mat I used last time and I washed everything with sensitive laundry detergent in a sanitary cycle. Yikes, crumbs. And as promised, I'm going to vacuum. I assembled the car seat. This is the Maxi Cozy Miko Max 30. It lasted us two winters with Sudan. I also decided to install a cozy cover that my mom got us by JJ Cole. I like this Dyson and to give an honest review and opinion, I will say my two issues with it is that it doesn't pick up anything that's round. Here I made a cleaning solution with 3 tablespoons of baking soda and one measure of baby laundry detergent dissolved into a cup of water. So then I assembled the bassinet. This is the Fisher Price Soothing Motions bassinet. I wiped down all the metal surfaces with that method cleaner that you saw from earlier. Then I used a solution to scrub down the fabric and mesh with a soft bristle brush. This was to clean the yellowing that tends to happen with white mesh and fabric. Today, man was so excited to see this come together. Later in the evening, after I prepared dinner and we finished eating, I went straight back to cleaning, and this is what I do on a regular evening. put whatever was left over into containers to store in the fridge. Next to the laundry, dishes never end. And because the finishing in our home is all white, I do my best to spray and wipe down everything at the end of the evening. Then I move on to organizing my son's toys, and this is just to make sure that he never loses any parts or pieces, and I keep that area managed. Usually I vacuum a couple times throughout the day, but I do a full vacuuming at the end of the evening. I also do a full mop in the evening. I just love when the floor is totally clean, especially since we have a cat.
At the end of the night, I like to light some incense so everything smells nice as well. In the living room, I vacuum the carpet in straight lines with the turbo roost feature. It really does make a difference and it makes the carpet feel so much softer. I wash the pillowcases about once or twice a week. This is to keep them fresh and soft and to remove all the lint from them. I also wipe down the TV stand from fingerprints and dust. Alright everyone, it's the end of the day and I look and feel very exhausted. But what I did here is I washed what's left of the baby items. I just have the pump there. I, I washed it and sterilized it. also washed the baby wrap. I'm going to practice using this and I'll take you guys along for that maybe in another video. Anyways, I washed this. I'm just going to roll it up and put it underneath the bassinet, which is completely washed. So I'm just going to put it under the bassinet or behind the bassinet for now. I washed all this by hand. I didn't use any bleach. I just used the baby detergent and baking soda and it took all the stains right off. So now the mesh is completely clear again. No yellowing, no darkness around the rim. Perfect. I love this bassinet. This is my favorite thing. And I think I'll do a baby, uh, my favorite baby items, maybe a video in the future. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to probably roll this up and put it under there. I might also put the pump under there for now until I figure out what happens with breastfeeding. I have a pile of laundry under here, just a couple towels, so it's not that bad. And then I have some gifts here for my mom because she's coming to help me, so I'm gonna put her a couple things into a nice gift bag and kind of write her a nice thank you note for coming to help me because I really do appreciate that. And with that, we'll call it a video. So if you guys like these types of videos, please be sure that you like this video, subscribe for more content, and leave me a comment below to let me know because any support you guys show me is really what helps me uh, post more and post specifically the type of videos that you want to see on my channel. So if there's a video that you really like to see, let me know and then I'll be more, I guess, motivated to make more of them. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.